Good morning. If you're like me, during these times with the virus around, it gets kind of depressing. So I go to the scripture to read, to find words of encouragement to help me through these times. And it's just not this time, because if it wasn't for the virus, Satan would be throwing something at us. We see that every day. And the closer you get to God, the more arrows he will throw at you. Uh, just read Paul in his epistles, the suffering he did in the name of Christ. So this morning, I'd like to read 1 Peter chapter 1, 3 through 9. These verses help me. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. From the dead, to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are protected by the power of God through faith. For a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, even though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials. So that the proof of your faith, being more precious than gold, which is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And though you still have not seen him, you love him. And though you did not see him now, but believe in him, you greatly rejoice with joy, inexpressible and full of glory, obtaining as the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls. And then in Romans 6, 22. But now being freed from sin and enslaved to God, you derive your benefit, resulting in the sanctification and the outcome of eternal life. This is what I keep focusing on in my trials, tribulations. It is the internal life with God. This is what we're going for. This is the great hope. And what we do now as we suffer through, we are building our character. We are proving our faith in Christ that makes this life on earth worthwhile because of the rewards in heaven. It did, this helps me and remember uh, to persevere as the British would say to keep the stiff, stiff upper lip. We must prod ahead, keep the straight and narrow road to salvation, to glory with God. Hopefully this will help you. It helps me. So thank you for your time, and thank you for sharing time with me. In the name of Jesus, amen.